everybody. It's Monday. I am so tired. I honestly had a bit of a bender <laughs> this weekend. Um, it was so fun. I was in Banff, Canada, as you guys saw my last vlog. Landed, had a dinner and two birthdays Friday. And then Saturday was my best friend Caitlin's birthday. And then last night, obviously went to Comedy Cellar because I had my friend Alex in town, my friend Sophia in town. So we did all the things, honestly. Um, and today's Monday, we're getting back at it. And I, I honestly feel so fulfilled though. I had the best weekend with the best friends and weekends in the city are just so fun. Um, so, but now we're kind of getting our lives together. <laughs> I'm really glad though, yesterday before Comedy Cellar, I had time to like, I like washed my sheets, I cleaned my apartment, it was, it was nice. So it wasn't a, it was a well-rounded weekend. I'm about to head to my Monday morning Bala Bengal class at Equinox with my friend Cassidy. Gonna attempt to put on this Gymshark set. I totally got this because Brooke had it. I was like, this is the cutest set in the world. Um, so I'm gonna put it on, I don't know if I'm supposed to wear a sports bra underneath. This class is very low impact. Like, not a lot of jumping around, but maybe I'll pull out a, a sports bra just in case. I don't really know if I need that or not. Um, yeah, let's get the day started. Set is on. I love the leggings and the top. I ended up putting on a little sports bra underneath. I've been getting more and more confident with how much time it takes me to get to the gym. And then I just end up, like, running in at the last minute, which is just not fun. And then you start all flustered, but here I am. I'm definitely going to walk in with like two minutes to spare. But thankfully, Cassidy lives super close. So I'm hoping she will save me a seat. I'm so tired. Oh my gosh, I am so tired. And the time change, it's spring forward. So that wasn't really helping. Uh, we were literally out on Saturday night. And I swear, it said 1.30 on my phone. And the next... That time I looked, it was 3.30, and I don't stay out that late, as we know. But it's because, like, once it hit 1.59, it switched to uh, 3 o'clock, 3 a.m. or something. I don't even know. Okay, we've got Uggs on, and we're going to throw on this long puffer because it says it's windy outside. Whenever it's windy, I like to wear a puffer because I feel like it keeps me even warmer. Normally, I'd wear, like, a jacket underneath, but I don't have time. <laughs> and this one's very warm. This is my tried and true Sam jacket. I've had this is third winter. Um, okay, let's go. Cassidy's here. We're doing some styling for, I can't tell you guys, secret project, hee <laughs> hee. But I'm so excited, so I won't be vlogging this one as much, but coming out with something in a couple months and we're doing a shoot for it and I'm excited. Cassidy just left, changed into another activewear set. I like showered before our fitting, obviously. How good is this jacket from Aloe? It's like a little corset, I bought it in black too. And then wearing Adidas, we're bundling up. My same jacket. I'm headed, my friend Sophia is here for a few more hours until her flight. So I'm gonna go meet her for breakfast. I'm so hungry. We're gonna go to the Grey Dog. It's one of my go-tos. It's just good stuff. Um, she was out shopping. And then I actually have a dermatologist appointment. Um, I've never done a body check before where they like literally, pretty sure I get naked and they scan me up and down. But I don't know. Not that I have anything I'm worried about. I just feel like, why not? I'm pretty sure the appointment takes like 15 minutes. Brooke inspired me to do it. I was talking to Brooke about it and she was like, yeah, it's so easy. Like, I grew up in Florida. I feel like it's good to make sure. So let's go to breakfast and then I'll either come back really quick or I might just go straight to the doctor's office. We'll see. Ew, I hate the doctor. I hate going. I had to switch to a beanie. It's even warmer. It's like not super cold, but it's just so windy. But I love having a little beanie on. You just feel nice and cocooned and cozy. I can see the gray dog. I think Sophia's already there. I'm so hungry, honestly, so this is perfect.
That was the easiest doctor's appointment of my life. Feeling grateful, feeling healthy, and nothing of concern. Good to go. How many outfits will I wear today? We shall find out. Yeah, okay, I changed, I added some makeup, and we're going to record an episode of the podcast. I'm so excited. I have so much I wanna talk about. You guys, if you don't listen to Gals on the Go podcast, you really need to. It's with my best friend, Brooke, and we, it, it's just so fun. And we chat about all different types of things. And I just think you'll really enjoy it. Here's the fit. I mean, you only see like up top, but we went for a little red moment. My hair is a little greasy. So we did hat with hair behind the ears though with earrings. I think it's such a nice little polished moment. Red sweater to tie it in. And then I'm just wearing jeans and sneakers. Um, but this is like the most important part. Maybe I'll add a ring. Why not? Okay, let's go. I guess it came out. There was something along the lines. Okay, I'm walking back to my apartment from, the, from East Village. So... I was like, wait, Wegmans is like in NoHo area. I need groceries. I want to cook dinner tonight. And I've been wanting to check out the new Wegmans. I've ordered Wegmans on Instacart so many times. And I've heard the best things about this new Wegmans. So let's go check it out together. This is so nice. This is so great just to have like proteins on hand. I was gonna cook, but honestly, like, maybe I'll just, I don't know. This looks so good. This is literally my dream meal. Look who I found strolling around Wegmans. Apparently she loves this place. She's I making lasagna soup. My favorite place yeah. in the world. <laughs> We're back from Wegmans. What a time. I had a whole journey, ran into a follower. Her name was Pauline. She was the sweetest. And then she was like, it's so funny. I just met Margot Lee recently. Margot walks up which was so funny. She was like, oh my God. And I was like, oh my God, I haven't seen Margot in forever. So we caught up and it was so nice. That place is so nice. She was like, I can't believe you haven't been here yet. That's like what everyone's saying. Like it's so, it's so nice. I got an array of things. I got bananas. They're a great snack, but also I love making my little protein smoothie with them. Got some grapes. I was just feeling the grapes. And then Pauline, if you're watching this, don't hate me. She was like, I don't know if I, because I was like, the pre-made section is so amazing. She was like, I don't know. I don't trust the chicken. But I like had already, I was so excited about my chicken things. So I'm going to give them a go. Hopefully they're not sus. And I got Brussels sprouts. Here I am. I'm like, I'm going to cook. But then they had, I didn't know Wegmans was known for all these pre-made things. But I did get the buttery broccoli where you cook it on the stove. I just like, I'm really upset with myself. I've had this goal to cook more and it's just, I don't know if it's living alone or what. I just am so not motivated. I'm only motivated when like I have like a long night into myself or like if Ryan's coming over from cooking for a friend. I got almond milk for my protein smoothies. I got two apples, great snack. And then I got blueberries and some more carrots for my hummus. It's a great snack and I love rainbow carrots. It's just very exciting. So I'm gonna put this away, get cozy. And I have so much computer work to do, so. It's perfect, I can kind of catch up. I feel like I just need to catch up on things. So why am I sitting like, ah, but I'm gonna listen to a podcast. Maybe I'll get on the walking pad while I do so. Um, but honestly, I walked a lot today, so I don't need to do that. I'm gonna listen to Ariana Grande's new album. We're just gonna do all the things. I'm sitting here at my computer and um, I'm so excited. I'm prepping the next few AM Uncovereds. Uncovered. <laughs> if you don't know, I started a short form series on TikTok and Instagram. I want to post it on YouTube shorts too, but YouTube's only 90 seconds or 60 seconds. So need to figure that out. I think it's only 60 seconds. Um, but you can go on both accounts and they're just videos throughout. The thumbnail photos are on Instagram. The thumbnail photos are like me and the person. So it's pretty easy to see which one's which. But yeah, it's been so much fun where I basically uncover people's morning routines. I follow them along on their morning routine in their apartment, in their hotel room. It's been so much fun. Tomorrow, I'm having one of my best friends daily on. I'm just so excited. She is like one of the funniest people I know. She works in ad sales and is crushing it. And I went to college with her and um, I'm excited to see her morning routine. I also lived across the hall from her for a year, freshman year of college. We became really close, we were hallmates, and I know a lot of you guys know her, so I'm really excited to do her AM Uncovered tomorrow, so I'm just prepping the shot list, texting with her, she's kind of giving her me her little moments, and then we're gonna execute it tomorrow morning. And tomorrow morning is Tuesday, which are the days I post AM Uncovered, and I'm having Delaney on, well, we already did it. Delaney is one of the first ones I filmed, so I'm posting that tomorrow, I'm so excited. I feel like all of you guys love Delaney, she was my college junior and senior year roommate, one of my best friends, she lives here in the city as well. Um, she works in digital marketing. So it's just fun to see people that do different things. 
Um, I'm having a nurse on soon. I'm having a fitness trainer slash founder. Like there's lots of things. So I'm like obsessed with the series and I, I'm so glad you guys are too. And we're gonna make dinner here shortly, but I just wanted to like grind some things out. All right, we're doing my favorite thing, <laughs> refilling my supplements for the week. It's actually kind of soothing, honestly. Everyone wants me to do a supplements regimen, but like truly everyone should be taking different supplements. It's totally based on your doctor and your personal experience and just your goals, just like so many different things. And like, I honestly really wanna get an updated blood test and like see what's going on on the inside where my levels are at, but I hate, as I've talked about earlier, I hate going to the doctor. I hate blood tests, I hate needles, like honestly. But every time I go, every time I've done a blood test, they do it so fast. I'm like, oh, that's it. But I just like work myself up so much. Do you guys have any advice? for like getting overwhelmed in the doctor's office. And then like, I get so nervous that my blood pressure is so high. Cause I'm like, <laughs> like I'm so nervous. I'm like, are you nervous? I'm like, yeah. But I'm like, I need to get proper blood pressure. You know, like, <sighs> I don't know why. I don't even know why I have this experience, but I do. And I hate that I feel that way. That's that. Just wrapped up work. It's 11 o'clock and we're filming an AM uncovered in the morning. Like I said, I'm so excited. I just put on more Jergens Gradual Self Tanner. I've been obsessed with this stuff. I'm gonna attempt to do a little reading, which means I'll read a few pages and fall asleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. We are headed to Dailies. I'm so excited. Filming her AM Uncovered. I just hosted, posted Delaney's AM Uncovered and you guys are loving it, so go check it out. Or if you go on TikTok, I have it as a playlist called AM Uncovered so you can watch all four episodes. Um, okay, so here's my outfit. I always like struggle with what to wear because like I could wear pajamas to all these But at the end of the video, they're usually ready to go somewhere They're usually like going to work or going to a workout and they look so cute and then I would just still be in my pajamas so I always just kind of wear like some sort of simple yet chic outfit because I also love fashion and I want to like express myself with style. So I'm wearing this top. I literally love it so much. I think I've worn it with daily before and now I'm forgetting where it's from. I think it's Durette's. Slick back. It's my first time wearing slick back in an AM uncovered. Earrings are Jenny Bird and then I'm wearing some Lejeune jeans. I don't know what shoes I'll wear. So I'll probably just take them off when I get there. That's usually what I do, but let's head to Daly's apartment and do her AM uncovered. I think her roommates aren't like sometimes her roommates work from home but her roommates aren't there today so it'll be perfect we can just be loud and annoying and get her morning routine in she already sent me her shawl this it's so funny like she's just so funny i mean it's real too like it's good um let's do it okay guys behind the scenes of am uncovered tell me when daily mccallum welcome to am uncovered Cute. You think it's good? <laughs> okay, guys, I'm here with Daily. We're already giggles. Giggles in. Hey, guys, welcome to my room. <laughs> Daily's <laughs> crushing it already. I'm at her desk. Your desk. This is my first time seeing her apartment. It's so cute. Thanks. I just like, like this. I don't like this spike here. So I covered it with a little ring. Oh my god, look at you. It's so good. No, it's so cute in here. Thank you. And I'm so happy to be here. Woo! Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> So Daily's making her bed. Okay, when you're ready. Perfect. Recording went so well. Daily is just such a such a joy to be around, and I'm really excited. So I'm hungry again. I think I'm gonna make some eggs, and I'm hoping I still have some sausage. Yes, I love this stuff so much. This, I get this at Whole Foods, I think. The chicken and sage breakfast sausage patties. They are so great. You can heat them up in the microwave or pop them on the stove. And honestly, oh God, they're definitely tastier. I've noticed one if, if I cook them over a pan. So I'm gonna do that today. And then I'm actually going to take off my makeup and uh, get cozy because we're getting a lash lift in tint today. I have mascara on. Um, my lashes have stayed pretty lifted, honestly, but um, the tint is gone. And I do love the tint. I'm going to LA and be on camera a lot. So I'm excited. I'm gonna do two eggs and two breakfast patties. Actually, I'm gonna do the patties first and cook those. Oh my God, they're so good. It takes like just a couple minutes when I cook them over top. 
over the stove. I love breakfast. Like I could eat lunch now, but I just love breakfast food so much. <laughs> yeah, we're also going, Delaney and I are going to a Knicks game tonight. I'm so excited. I'm such a basketball girly these days, but Delaney's never been to a Knicks game. And I was like, let's go. So we're going to the Knicks game. They're playing the 76ers. Gonna need your guys' help on figuring out my outfit because last time I went all out, I rented this like cool Knicks jacket from Pickle and this awesome basketball bag, but I'm not gonna do that this time. So I have orange sneakers they're like blue and orange. So I have to think. Just washed my face, made my breakfast. Ta-da! I have never done this in this apartment at home. Like when I lived at home in Florida, I always worked from my bed. But I don't know if it's because my bed's low or I don't know. I just, I also just love my living room so much. I never get in bed and work, but like, it's almost, it's so sunny today and it's so bright in my living room and I'm kind of like, I honestly didn't make my bed this morning. So I'm kind of just thinking to lay in bed a little bit and get my work done. I don't know, it's just what's feeling right. Might turn off the lights. I had my water bottle, my planner, my pen, my computer. And I'm kind of comfortable. So I'm gonna sit here and get some work done. Okay, bed is made. We're up and at them. Took off my makeup. We've got the bun still in. It's only like 60 or it's 60 degrees outside, which is great. So I think I'm gonna go no jacket. I'm wearing a little workout set in hopes that I'm gonna work out after this. But this set, it's just like a black sports bra. And then this, these leggings are from Year of Hours. We're gonna go get a lash lift and tint. And then we also do dermaplaning. So it just takes off all the peach fuzz on my face and really helps with like dead skin, just everything. So let's. Go. It's workout time. I didn't, I just didn't make it over to the gym or to a class today. So I recently got this stacked mat which is just so amazing because it folds up so nicely. Like literally you can go boom, boom. It's just so great to store in your apartment. Um, and they obviously look so nice. So I'm gonna do a small Sculpt Society workout. And then I think my goal here will be walk on the treadmill on my little uh, walking pad and do work. That is today's journey of working out. So let's see what I can find here. Scope Society has so many different options, like 20 minute workout, which is really all I have the motivation for. Okay, I'm looking at quickie workouts because that's just where I'm at. Okay, I think I'm going to do the 20 minute cozy sculpt. Like that's hey, just- CSS fam, Megan here. I'm calling my name, I love you, Megan. <laughs> I'm in my sweatpants slash pajamas. Workout is done. That was so great. I never had to stand up, which sometimes, I don't know why I'm so sleepy this week. Like I have no excuse, I just am. So that was so nice and I'm so proud of myself. Now I'm gonna make a protein shake and yeah, let's do it. You guys already know the drill. This is the protein powder I've been using. No cow. And then I add my colostrum for some immune support. Almond milk, a banana, and then almond butter. You guys already knew that though. Pleasure and an honor. Our first story, Al Pacino is addressing his offensive and hurtful Oscars. Yes. Who does Al Pacino look like to you? All right, you guys know the drill at this point. Clocking out at 48 minutes, 51 seconds. I just realized what time it is. We gotta get ready for the basketball game. I can't believe it's still light outside. This is what I'm thinking for the next game. So we're starting with a white tank, these gold hoops from the brand Whitney Marielle. Jeans are the jeans. I'm loving these jeans so much. And then I have this jacket. I just like only have one orange shirt and I was really struggling on how to style it. I don't know why. Like I like the color orange, but 
Gonna wear over top this bomber like jacket situation from Lioness. And then, actually, let me show you guys in the mirror. Cause then I have these brown boots that are essentially the same color as the jacket. And you guys know I love an outfit sandwich. And then this little Fendi little mini bag that fits literally my lip gloss, my credit cards and my keys. So this is the fit. I could switch. The only other thing I have orange are orange Nike Dunks. Delaney's tall and I hate being so short. So <laughs> I thought it would be fun to wear the boots. And it's, I feel like it's still casual. It's like going to basketball game. Like I wore boots to the last basketball game I went to. I really like this outfit. And I feel like since this is like an orangey brown, it could be kind of NYX related. And it's blue too, so we wore blue jeans. I love the slick back with it. I think it's cute. It's kind of giving wag. <laughs> That's always my goal, honestly. But this tank is from a gold day I got on Revolve. Love it. Like I said, Lioness blazer. This little bag I'm borrowing from Rebag and it's so freaking cute. And then the boots are from the brand um, Baird Footwear. Hold on, I actually need to tell you guys because these are really comfortable and they came with foot inserts. Bairdfootwear.com. They're actually tall boots. Ha ha. But they're multi-purpose. Like, I like this. I'm gonna wear the boots. I hope they're comfortable all night. They've been comfortable so far walking around my apartment. Thanks for following along my journey. Let's go to the game. New York Pilates. I'm going with Colby and <laughs> as we know, I've just been loving to be overconfident with how long it's going to take me to get to all these places so I leave myself like no time, but it's fine. I'm like a pro now. I don't even, I just go right in. I sit at my machine room done. I'm not a pro at Pilates, let me clarify. I just am a pro at, I know what to do when I get in there that I can get there a little, you know, right before the class. And usually, I think Colby usually does too, so. Um, we're going to an 8.30 class with one of my favorite instructors that I haven't been to, I literally think this year. So I'm excited, because we booked this a while ago. She always fills up. Got my Pilates socks on. <laughs> Sneakers would be good. Let's go. Here we go, post Pilates Ralphs. Our reward, of course. doing a grocery haul, not just any grocery haul. Pilates is great. And then I was like, okay, I have a couple hours before my next thing. And I've been in this really terrible routine of, oh, well, I'm traveling on Sunday. So, cause Brooke and I are going to LA. So I'm just gonna like not really get groceries because what's the point? You know what? There is a point because we want to put good food in our body. And I feel like I am just, I was on TikTok all last night and just online. How can I maintain like putting good into my body, high protein, like, and I got a lot of tips. So stuff that it's not groundbreaking by any means, but I learned about like water retention and how you're supposed to be drinking like two to three waters, uh, two to three liters of water a day. Again, like the thing with all of this stuff is I'm learning, everything works differently for everybody. And so this is not me telling you what to do because I don't even know. I'm just trying some new things out based off of other people's 
experiences. But yeah, I just need to get back on my grind because I was on it for a second and I've just been letting it slide away. So, random things I want to try. Well, you guys know I love making my protein shake, but if even if I'm... But if I'm even more on the go, I've heard about these Owen plant protein drinks and they're 32 grams of protein. Like, that's actually unreal. Usually it's like 20 something, I feel like. So, excited about that. I always get like one little kombucha because when I'm cooking or if I'm doing something, I like to pour a little bit in a wine glass. And then I just got, you know what? This is the cure for, oh, things are gonna go bad. Just get some frozen veggies. Because there's gonna be a time when you're like, I wanna make a meal, I need some veggies. So, I got peas and broccoli to put in my freezer. I got a new can opener. I got some more black beans, stuff like that. Tonight for dinner, I have those things that I got at Wegmans. I have the Brussels sprouts and the chicken. So I'm gonna do that with like rice, I think, or couscous. And then tomorrow night, I'm thinking I'll do some bonza chickpea pasta with ground turkey for some protein with um, red sauce, obviously. I stocked up on my Good Culture cottage cheese because we know how I feel about those. Got some more eggs. And then also this, I don't eat a lot of yogurt. Well, I had yogurt a little yesterday morning, but not like as a snack, like I usually make a whole parfait. And this one dietitian was talking about how this yogurt's pretty high in protein. It's a good snack, so I'm trying. I usually like berry yogurt, so I got strawberry, blueberry, and mixed berry. And then <laughs> Ryan was making fun of me because I had these in my fridge, but like they're such a good snack. These cheese sticks, they've got seven grams of protein. And I've been making little roll-ups, so I'll take a slice of turkey that I already have in my fridge and wrap it around, and it's just like a little tasty bite. Got some of these Crunchmaster multi-seed crackers for my hummus. And then I think, yeah, the only other thing I got, I got more chamomile tea. And then also, I'm gonna try roasted dandelion root, so dandelion tea. I saw someone talking about how, well, it says detox and digestion. I think this is a diuretic, so it like makes you pee a lot, but it helps with like that water retention thing. Cause I feel like I drink a lot of water, but you know what? You never drink enough water. And then I guess it like, basically you hold that weight. I don't even know. I literally am telling you guys, I do not know. I'm just listening and trying to figure things out. So you guys will let me know, I'm sure, if, this is, if I'm being incorrect with this. But I'm gonna see if I even like the taste. I'm not gonna have it all the time, but I don't know. Maybe it could be good. I'm feeling inspired. I'm really happy with my little random grocery haul. It's just like little things because I am going out of town. But I have meals for tonight and tomorrow night, which are great because Friday night I'm going out to dinner and I've got my snacks. Like I'm just feeling good. It was much needed and I was listening to Amy Schumer on not skinny but not fat I freaking love her you guys know what time it is it's email and tread time I was gonna maybe go for an outdoor walk but I have emails to get done so I was like I can just do it while I walk and do a little habit stacking as they call it on live studios Kat who's an amazing makeup artist here in the city and one of my very good friends asked for me to come on her Amazon live with her and we were gonna recreate a makeup look she did on me for um, the Mean Girls red carpet in January and I'm so excited so it's so funny I'm like all dressed up no makeup on went with a slick back because I thought that'd be easiest for you to see the makeup and everything and I think we're only gonna be able to see here up so I thought I'd do like a little shoulder pad moment I'm just refilling my Brita and I'm gonna bring this, I think, because we have like a call time, we have a start time. I'm so excited, I think it's like an hour long live. I'm so excited, I hope some of you guys come join. Yeah, I'm like nervous, but it's pretty awesome. I just get to sit there and Kat's gonna do my makeup and we're gonna chat about how we've met and like trends we like and just 
all kinds of things. So I think it's gonna be really fun. I'm so excited to check out the Amazon like studio. She just sent me a picture of the setup that we're filming in front of today and it's literally looks like my apartment. It's so the vibe. And I just can't wait. It'll be something new, something different. It's always fun going into a production studio of sorts. And it's gonna be live. Here's a better look at my fit. I just love these Citizens of Humanity horseshoe jeans. They're just so cool. Blazer top, it's like a cropped blazer with shoulder pads. It's from Camila Coelho. Earrings are anthropology. And I'm just wearing some black booties and an Orion belt. I love it. We're in the green room. I'm with Miss Cat right here. I'm so excited. We've, we literally are like just chilling. <laughs> we have badges. This is so official. I'm so excited. Okay, We're on the set. Something you're missing, I have. Oh my god. The live went so well. Makeup is done. I'm obsessed. Um, and Kat sent me home because like once she uses the products, like Amazon can't really use the products because she used them on me. So I got sent home with some stuff because she's been raving about this. This is what she put on my skin before makeup. Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum. And then she gave me more Luminous Silk Foundation, my favorite. She was also raving about this and I've been wanting to try it. So she let me take this. This is the Anastasia Brow Freeze Gel. Like it's like a wand rather than like I have the tube. So I'm excited to try it for myself. This is the mascara she used. It's the Hourglass Tubing Mascara. And then I'm so happy. This is what I have this, but mine like cracked a little. And then actually she mixed this NARS foundation with this. I'm excited to try. And then the lip liner I have on Deep Taupe from Anastasia. So I'm so excited. Everyone here is so nice and so just supportive. The live went so well. Thanks to any of you guys that came on. I can't stop staring at my eye makeup. We out of here. <laughs> Complete. Yay, yay. It's a lot later now. I've been sitting over there working and I just finally made some dinner. I ended up, Ryan and I were going to go to dinner tonight, but we were both so tired. So I just so made whoa, Brussels sprouts, chicken, a little rice, and I'm watching Nashville. And the hope is I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. Good morning from me and my foam roller because I woke up so sore and we have a workout this morning once again. Ooh, highly recommend anyone get one of these. Feels amazing. Or like this on my calves, just like rolling back and forth. It's so good, I just got this on Amazon, honestly. It's just a little foam roller. I went to bed at 10 p.m. last night. It was so necessary, like, I don't know why. Um, but this morning we're going back to the aloe gym. I'm going with Cass, Kelly, and Seb. Kelly's doing like the um, family of three Pilates performers. So Kelly's doing like a work, like a strength training. And then the three of us are doing Pilates. I'm more excited about my coffee right now. I feel like I need water. Water tastes extra good in the morning. I think we need to bring in the ice roller too. I mean, what's new? Now we're talking. Like I said, we're going to the aloe gym. I'm wearing this set with like a black sheer aloe long sleeve underneath. Got my Pilates socks here. I like to do a little skincare before I leave the house because I feel like just going out, especially in New York, I like to at least have some barrier cream on and I recently got into Hyaluronic Serum because when I got a facial in Canada in Banff, she was like, you need to infuse some hyaluronic acid into your life. So I said, okay. Okie doke, pray for me. I'm excited to go to the gym with all the girlies. It's fun, because since it's like just a class with the three of us and Kelly in the gym, we can just talk. It's so fun, like, ow, this hurts. Like, we could just kind of say that, so. Woo, let's go.
finished our workout. We're waiting on Kelly to finish her weight training over there. Yeah. <laughs> Quick sauna sesh. Feels so good. Like the dry heat. Apparently it's supposed to be warm out today though, so. We're gonna get that dry heat. We're gonna get that dry heat outside. Cass is like, 30 yeah. seconds, I'm out. <laughs> okay. Off to Jewish Generation, our post-workout treat. And it's supposed to be 70 degrees today. I'm pumped. I feel it. It's on its way. Puffer is gonna be ripped off soon. Here are the vibes right now. Back from my workout, showered, put on this little Elwood clothing sweat set, two beverages, Element, sparkling water, and some grapes back there. I'm watching my friend Natalie Barbu's podcast. She had Susie from The Bachelor on. I just love hearing behind the scenes of Bachelor, so I'm listening slash watching that. Okay, calls have been going well. I'm gonna have a little snack. I'm used to just like throwing some granola in there. This just like tastes like it's good. It tastes like childhood to me. Like it tastes like it's lunch break and we're all taking out our lunch boxes. And you guys know I love nostalgia. Oh, there's things on the bottom? Oh, I didn't realize I'm supposed to mix around. There's like, curious to see how full I feel after this. Wait, so fun. <laughs> Danielle discovering yogurt for the first. No, I make plain yogurt with berries and stuff, but oh, there's berries or something. Mm. It's 70 degrees outside. We have to go outside. Not me like getting dressed up to go for a walk. Well, I'm not really dressed up, but I'm meeting up with Ryan. So I gotta look cute, but we're going on a walk on West Side Highway. And in New York City, when you walk on West Side Highway on a nice day, you literally see everyone you know. So I was like, I gotta look somewhat put together. I think I'm gonna go no jacket. I might be a little chilly towards the end, but it's 70 degrees right now. So I'm wearing this tank from Story, a little gym shark tennis skirt skirt. My Adidas sneakers, some aloe socks, got my Tissot watch. Yeah, I'm gonna put on my Lululemon belt bag. I'm just so excited to go outside. Got a lot of work done, just got off another call for Gals and the Go stuff, so that was good. Oh, I just got this new um, AirPods case. This was my old one. Um, this thing just finally fell off, but it's still cute. I'm like keeping it just in case. Um, but this one's from Case of It's giving like skims. Like I feel like Kim Kardashian would use this one, but it's so nice. It's a little bit bigger than the other one, but hasn't been a problem yet. Sunglasses, of course. We'll do a little sunglasses as a headband moment. Need some lip balm. Hot Girl Walk Essentials. <laughs> I did, however, put Super Goop Golden Glow or Golden Hour sunscreen on my face for some color and then also just cause I feel like today's a good day to put on SPF, even though I'm supposed to like always have SPF on. Put my wallet in here. And it is time. I always say the West Side Highway is like when they promenade in Bridgerton. I'm curious to see who I'm going to see. But I'm excited to see Ryan because I haven't seen him since Sunday. We've both been busy with stuff and last night we were both, well he wanted to go to the gym and I was so tired. I was like, don't worry. And I went to bed at 10 o'clock. So let's go. I'm sure you guys are like ready to leave my apartment. Oh, we left my apartment today. We did leave my apartment today. the new beach on West Side Highway. I feel like this is actually so beautiful. Like you're not, you're, I don't even think that you're allowed to get in the water, the Hudson River's pretty gross. But like during the summer, you come here with a towel and a bathing suit. This is the Gansevoort Peninsula Sand Bluff. It's to provide unobstructed views at the water's edge. This is gonna be beautiful in the summer. It's beautiful right now. Mm -hmm. I hit 10,000 steps, we're playing Delaney's Jazzy playlist on Spotify. It's all like Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, all the things. We're gonna make some dinner. We're doing ground turkey bolognese and a bonza pasta. I'm so excited. Ooh. And then I have Brussels sprouts still, so we're gonna get to cooking, but hit 10,000 steps. That's been my goal, so we did it. Look at that turkey bolognese. Oh my gosh, it's. I just love Italian food so much. It actually makes me so happy, like, damn. Mm. This is the most satisfying part. Ugh, oh, look at that cavatappi. Oh, mm, that looks so good. Oh my god. And then you fold the cheese. 
If you watch Shit's Creek, you know. Oh my God, guys. We're eating good tonight. Oh, and then did we heat up the Brussels sprouts? Yeah. We've got Brussels sprouts. We're literally eating so good tonight. Like, I wish you were all here to eat with us. Wow. Good morning. It's Friday and we're going to film another AM Uncovered with Megan Roop, who's the founder of Sculpt Society. You guys know how much I love the Sculpt Society workout. We're filming it in her hotel because she actually lives in LA, um, but she really wanted to be on and I'm so honored. So I'm actually wearing a little bit of an athleisure moment today because I think we're gonna do a little mini workout as part of her routine, so I might join her, I'm not sure. Um, but you guys know how much I love just popping a blazer over. I think it looks so chic. Um, and I just did a little half a half down. Ugh, and clearly it's not perfect, but you know what, that's okay. Just did a little mobile order at Dunkin'. Gonna grab an iced decaf coffee. And today's gonna be a great day. I think I'm gonna take this vlog into the weekend because I go to LA on Sunday and I have some fun things tonight and tomorrow. So I was like, you know what? Let's just keep the vlog going. Make this a movie. <laughs> so fun I'm at 2,000 steps and you guys know I've got my 10k steps goal so I have about an hour until I need to leave for my hair appointment but I have some work I need to get done so I'm hoping that I'll at least be able to get like 30 45 minutes walking I don't know how many steps that equals and I don't wear anything to monitor my steps but you know whatever will work so I'm gonna open my computer and get to work did about 40 minutes on the walking pad, which was amazing. And I'm just about to mix up my protein smoothie. You guys already know the drill because I'm headed to get my hair highlighted because I'm still keeping the dark roots, but I do like, to, I like to bring up the blonde a little bit. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put it in my little gals on the go cup because if you get your, especially if you're a blonde, you're at the hair salon for a minute. Like my appointment starts at 2 p.m. But I will, at, I feel like I'll be there till like five or 6 p.m. Like at least 5 p.m. So, gotta, oh, oh I didn't plug it in. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. So I'm gonna bring this smoothie and a protein bar um, and probably one other snack. Sometimes I've like ordered food there. All right, that should be enough. I love my little Nutribullet guy. It just smells so good. I like already ate breakfast, but I just know this will fuel me throughout the appointment. And it's almost to the top. I need a good amount, I'm happy. And I'll bring this to the salon. Brooke just texted me that she's at the salon and Mads, our hair girl, like told her like, oh, Danielle's about to come in. So I'm excited. Brooke and I are never, I don't think we've literally ever been there at the same time. I've gone there on days like she was there and she was like just leaving because my appointment always takes so much longer, but ASMR, let's go. What's happening here? We never see each other at the salon. How exciting. Right. Hair is done. I'm obsessed. I forgot what it's like to be brighter. I need to get a spray tan because I'm so pale, but I absolutely love it. And I decided it's so nice out. I think I need 4,000 more steps to hit my goal. So. We're gonna see how long this walk take, how how many steps this walk gets me. Um, it'd be nice to hit 10,000 because I don't think I'll hit 10,000 tomorrow. Maybe I will, but the weekends don't count as much. But I should make the weekends still count. Anyways, it's so nice out. I'm in Soho, feels good. I'm just gonna walk back and walk through. Hello, I'm in my little towel wrap because I'm about to start doing my makeup. I'm going to dinner tonight with Kelly Gann and her friend Kenzie who's in town, my friend Seb, her friend who's in town. We're going to a new Italian restaurant in the West Village called Ambra. If you guys listened to the podcast two weeks ago, three weeks ago, we did the perfect weekend formula. Brooke and I walked through our ideal weekends and mine always starts with Friday night girls dinner turned into potentially going out, meeting our boyfriends, the guys, whatever, or just keeping it a girls night, going dancing. I 
Like I've been saying, I've been so tired this week. I really don't know why. I feel like I've been getting enough sleep, but I've also been like weirdly anxious this week. It goes in waves. Usually the week before my period, I'm like anxious. Yeah, I like kind of got a little panicky in the hair salon today, which I feel like is normal. Um, sometimes I'm in the hair salon because I'm in there for so many hours. I was there from 2 to 6 p.m. I wasn't hungry. Like I had, I brought all my things. I was prepared, but I don't know if it's just like all the blow dryers, lots of stimulation. Um, I was like talking to everybody. I don't know. I just like when I had time to it myself, I just got all like like heavy breathing. I felt like something was on my chest. My heart was palpitating, not constantly, but just every now and then I'm like, oh, hi. Um, and I was like, what am I anxious about? But as soon as I left, that's why I walked all the way home. Um, I started to feel better. And then like when I was sitting here thinking about it, I like got all nervous again. But if I don't think about it, it goes away. Anxiety is weird. And I feel like sometimes the annoying part of bad anxiety is you don't know always what it stemmed from that day. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I'm just like feeling a little funky roo, but I want to have fun tonight and I'm excited about the group I'm going with. But the good thing is the girls I'm going with, I feel very comfortable. So if I was like feeling weird, I'll be like, hey guys, I'm feeling weird. Cause sometimes I just need to say it out loud. It, when I actually got to the blowout portion of my hair appointment today, the girl that was doing my hair, she was like, I'm kind of feeling anxious right now, sorry. And I was like, wait, same. We just kind of talked it through and it made me feel a little bit better. I was still feeling it a little bit, but it's just nice to talk about it. Okay. I love life though, and I'm happy and I'm excited for my plans tonight. And so we're gonna get ready. Well, hello there. So I've been listening to music, started out more chill. Then now we're doing SZA, so a little bit, I mean, still chill. I'm really happy with my outfit. I was kind of like, whenever I don't, this is like so annoying, but I don't have self tan on and whenever I don't, I just really don't know what to wear. I don't know why, <laughs> but I'm realizing I didn't do a bad job of my makeup and I matched it to my chest pretty well. Cause I have like my self tan spray tan makeup and then all the other makeup, it's just, I don't know. It's hard to find my actual shade. Anyways, so I started off with just this skirt. I was like, let me build an outfit around the skirt. So this is a black faux leather midi skirt slit in the front then I put on this little belt from Orium and then I topped it with this top from Abercrombie it's a little oh that's gonna annoy me off the shoulder black long sleeve because I don't think I'm gonna need a jacket and then I'm just wearing some black boots and I love these earrings they're from my friend Whitney Dillon's brand once again and then ring is Lily clasp um bag YSL, little shoulder bag. I think I'm, yeah, it's 58 degrees. I can do, I can do no um, jacket. So this is the fit, I'm really happy with it. I think it's cute, it's fun. It's, it's a good Friday night fit. Taking some quick pre-dinner pics. <laughs> treating today like a Sunday because we head to LA tomorrow so it's huge laundry day I mean like there is a lot of laundry and I guess I did laundry earlier this week and I didn't finish drying everything and now I'm upset at myself because that means I have to do it today I'm not drying it and finish folding so I'm just gonna touch this up but yeah I'm gonna I'm headed to breakfast with Ryan so I'm gonna get the laundry started but it's gonna be many many loads I'm also packing for LA and then we go to Miami directly from LA. How crazy. So I have various things. It's pretty similar climate, which is good, but we're like recording the podcast. We're doing like all different types of things. So I'm just trying to figure out what makes the most sense to pack. Also, I don't want to overpack, but that's probably going to happen. Outfit of the day to go to breakfast with Ryan and walk around after. Um, I got this shirt or sweatshirt on the Revolve sale. I was so excited because I've been wanting this and Ian Bing 
sweatshirt and then just wearing like some leggings. What is shedding? Oh my God, it's the sweatshirt. That is not a vibe. Oh gosh darn it. I hate when sweatshirts do that. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to wash it when I get back because I wanted to bring this to LA. All right, we're gonna go to Little Owl, which is right under the friend's apartment. Well, the friend's apartment that they show like in the show when they cut to the apartment from the outside. It's above this restaurant, so there's typically always people out there taking photos, but the restaurant's really good. I've heard they have good dinner, but I've only ever gotten breakfast there. So we're gonna go. I'm still getting used to my hair being lighter. Um, I mean, it's usually this way. I just haven't gotten it done since November. Um, so let's go. We're out shopping. I bought more soap. And I bought a little gift for my doorman because he's the best. Wait guys, I've been wanting to check this place out, Happier Grocery. It's like the Erewhon of New York apparently, or the closest we'll get. So we're gonna go in. I wonder if it's cold. Kinda. <laughs> this is a great supplements brand. I t this is where I get my magnesium from. Oh, this is so Air One. I love it. Ryan doesn't really care. <laughs> He's in the guy couch. <laughs> West Village is popping today. So many people. Ryan and I had the most fabulous day. I'm pretty sure I've already hit 10,000 steps. I need to like get something where I wear it. So if you guys have suggestions, I just, 13,000, let's go. I mean, today was an extra special day because it was stunning and we walked all over Soho, West Village. Ryan bought a shirt. I bought a candle for my doorman because long story short, like every time I leave, he'll be like, is that Tom Ford? Like he'll guess my perfume. He doesn't usually get it right. But um, he loves scents and he was like, then one day he was like, are you wearing Byredo Bibliotech? And I was like, no, I'm not. And he was like, oh, I love it. Like one time someone gave me a candle in that scent and like I always sniff it. I don't want to burn it because it smells so good. So today we went to Byredo because I needed more soap and I bought him like a little mini of the Bibliotech and I brought it to him and he was like, oh my gosh. And he got so excited. He opened it right away. He's like, it smells so good. Like, it, And he is like my favorite. Like he truly takes such good care of me and he's the sweetest and like I would give that man the world. Um, so I, it just like made my life that he got that. Um, I, j I am so vulnerable right now. I'm so scrubbed up. I just took another shower. We're gonna go to Sugared and Bronze. I'm gonna get a spray tan for the week and I'm really excited because your girl's pale. Yeah, let's go. I always say let's go. I'm sorry, that's annoying. Got back, marinating in my tan now and I'm drinking one of these Owen protein things. This is the dark chocolate one. I'm trying to have this hold me over till dinner and it's really good. Oh boy, it's crazy in here. It actually looks a little bit more organized now, but um, just packed all my jewelry. I decided I'm bringing two suitcases. I'm, we're going from New York to Miami and there's so many different outfits, so many different things. It's all on camera stuff. So I, I need like changes of outfits for each podcast. So bringing tons of jewelry. I have my makeup, this little sets from Amazon. I decided I'm gonna bring my hair extensions because why not? And then I'm gonna pack a second bag. So this is all my clothes, shoes, accessories. And then the second bag is gonna, it's not gonna be super full. I also get two free checked bags with my Delta credit card. So highly suggest. Um, and the other bag I'm gonna do like hair stuff, makeup, tools, like hair tools, stuff like that. And then I have a feeling I'll be coming back with more, so I, it's not gonna be full. So that's the plan. Ryan's here and we ordered in 12 chairs. It's so good. It's this pita with the hummus. They give you this like thick pita, it's so good. And then I always get the tomato cucumber salad and add chicken. And Ryan loves the chicken schnitzel, so. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're about to dig in. I have so much laundry to do, but good vibes. Cleaned up my bathroom a little bit, packed up all my toiletries. Guys, I got this 
at a store in the West Village today. It's perfect because I feel like I always just throw my hair tools in and the wires everywhere. So this is perfect. And then I have my toiletries and things are shaping up. I am now obsessed with Curb Your Enthusiasm. Ryan showed me a couple episodes, but now we're going to start from the beginning and watch it. It's so funny. It's so my humor. Folks, that's a wrap for this vlog. It was a nice long one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm off to LA and Miami and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.